Now let's hear from a listener in Orville, California, who has this question. Could you please explain a biblical definition of sin? Now, sin can be defined, though, in many different ways. And it's a thing that you can't nail down with one definition. Here is the one that's come down through the centuries, and it's been a time-tested definition. What is sin? Sin is any want of conformity unto or transgression of the law of God. I see nothing wrong with that except to say that sin is any want of conformity to or transgression of the will of God, because the will of God actually, I think, is beyond his word. I mean by that, that God has not expressed in his word all of his will, that is, for you and me. And I'm of the opinion that for you and me today, that sin is anything that cuts across the will of God for us. I believe that the Bible states it rather succinctly when it says, All we like sheep have gone astray. We've turned every one to his own way. And the Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. Now, it says we've all turned to his own way. Those three words tell the story of sin, his own way. It's when a creature sets its will across the will of God. That is sin, and I don't care what it is. It might be in doing something very good, if you please. That's when doing good is wrong, when it's cutting across the will of God. In other words, if God wants you on the mission field and you become a Sunday school teacher here at home, that's wrong, I think, and sinful. But if God wants you to teach a Sunday school here and you go to the mission field under some emotional appeal, then that's wrong. I believe that we need to see that sin just can't be defined down to just one word. You can't say, as some people have said, sin is selfishness. Well, selfishness is sin, but sin is not just selfishness. It's more than that, if you please. It's anything that cuts across the will of God for us. And it's utterly preposterous and ridiculous to try to talk about eating apples. To begin with, Adam and Eve weren't apple eaters. The fruit is not identified for us, evidently a good fruit, but the question was, will they obey God or not obey God? And that's fundamentally always what sin is, disobedience of the will of God. I think we'd have to let it go at that.